Well, good morning. We're just leaving Ethan Pond Hut, which does in fact sit on a pond that's quite beautiful. And ironically, or maybe hilariously enough, when we left this morning, we had the exact same view of the pond that we did when we came in last night. I mean, like right down to how much of the mountain was covered by a cloud. At any rate, we are out on time this morning. Our goals for today, get into town, resupply, charge some devices. And then we literally go straight up Webster Cliffs um, and we'll be meeting everybody that was camped out here last night up at the uh, Nauman campsite um, that's near Mizbah Hut. So, should be a good day, potentially. Everything is wet still. Our tents were soaked, rain last night, and it's humid, so, you know, we got moisted. So our tents were wet inside and out. Found another hole in the netting of my tent. I have no idea how it got there, but I had to patch that this morning. And what else have we done? Nothing else exciting. It's overcast, might rain again. Man, I'm just hoping we get good weather for Washington tomorrow. Or we might end up having zero at a tent site, which wouldn't be the world's greatest, but we really don't want to get stuck about tree line in a thunderstorm. So we'll see how it goes. So if you guys want to hike the whites on the AT, here's some stuff to consider. And I'll probably add to this list later on because I can't think of everything right now, but this is just some stuff that I was thinking about while I was hiking this trail. Number one, um, expect to have terrible weather. Just like in the Smokies, um, honestly, even if it's not like pouring or freezing or snowing or a heat wave, um, you're gonna get some weather through the whites. It's so high, the weather changes really fast. So even if you have a really nice day, it might end in rain. Also, if you are hiking the whites in nice weather, do not expect to be dry. This trail is appears to be damp year round because otherwise there wouldn't be so much freaking moss and so many bogs. So just expect it's gonna be wet, it's gonna be muddy, it's gonna be moist. Your feet are gonna get wet, your feet are gonna stay wet. Literally, I'm at the point now where if my socks are damp, my feet feel dry because they're just wet all the time. Make sure you have small bills when you come to the whites, like ones and fives, because you have to pay to play in the whites, um, even with a through hiker pass. So through hikers receive a discount. Normally it's $15 to stay at a tent site in the whites. Through hikers pay 10 for the first one. You get a through hiker pass. It's a little orange paper card um, that also gets you two free pastries and a free bowl of soup at one of the huts and uh, discounts at some of the other huts. And it also means that your fee for camping through the whites is then five dollars for every site after that but you can't be carrying like fifty dollar bills because the caretakers just don't have enough change for that also if you have very short guy lines on your tent uh, you might need to bring some extra cordage we've noticed that um, the only ground camping in the whites if you're not stealthing is overflow tenting so unless you're really late to the party at the shelter you're gonna have to tent on a tent platform and they try to cram as many people on these platforms as possible like garfield ridge they wanted to put four double tents on a platform that's ridiculous it was too small of a platform and snapshots guy lines on his tent are so short that even with a little extra cordage he still had a terribly hard time pitching and his pitch wasn't great he couldn't stick out his vestibules or anything so just keep that in mind you are gonna have to pitch at least once on the tent platform in the whites unless you're stealthing the whole way through or staying at the huts, which are over $150 a pop for a bunk and nothing else. Also, take advantage of the huts. Like we popped in, they have $1 coffee, free refills, lemonade, tea. Um, if you do get the tea, you have to pack out the bag though. So just bear that in mind. Um, and then bake goods out. So definitely worth a stop in, especially if it's been raining all day, you can kind of get out of the rain and they have nice composting toilets there. So, um, also just as a side note, uh, they do have like basically shared bathrooms. Like you just go in, there's a bunch of stalls, but guys and girls both are using them. They don't care. Um, some of the huts leave the doors open. Some of them don't it just depends. Um, what else? Let me see. Oh, there's a lot of water in the whites. You don't really need to do extended carries. I think our longest one was like seven miles. Also, when the line on far out looks straight up or straight down, it's because it is. We literally started our hike yesterday in a waterfall. And later today, we're going straight up the side of Webster Cliffs and it's gonna take a while. So just expect your mile, your average miles per hour hiking speed is gonna drop. Ours is about 
two to two and a half, potentially even three, depending on the terrain on a normal basis. And through the whites, it's been one if we're lucky because it's such difficult terrain. You're going literally, you're rock scrambling. Half the time our poles aren't even out or if they are, we're just holding on to them. Um, oh, if you're going to get new shoes, if you're considering it, do it before you get in the whites, get that really good chunky grip because you're going to need it. Everything is slippery. Um, because warning the whites is slippery when wet warning, the whites are always wet. Also, even if you don't have stellar views in the whites, the mist and the fog is actually beautiful. And we found that if we're socked in, in a cloud, Sometimes if we just wait a little bit, the wind blows hard enough to give you a glimpse of something really beautiful. So hiking the whites in weather, not fun, but can still be beautiful. Also make sure you have your winter gear because it's cold at elevation. And anytime it's like misting in the top of the mountains in a cloud, you're gonna get cold and you're gonna get wet really fast, especially if the wind is blowing. Those are all the tips I have right now. Thanks for watching tips about hiking the lights. If I think of anything else later, I'll let you guys know. We're on one of those weird and rare road walks. I don't know, we're walking from one parking area to another in the whites. Also, thank you to the day hikers who left the beer and water at the trailhead. The guys greatly appreciated it. Someone please hitch us. <laughs> so Smiles, another through hiker, actually picked us up because she was in the area and took us into uh, the general store in Bartlett. So we were able to get our resupply and some food. And now I'm trying to scarf down a sandwich in the rain because now it's raining and we're about to climb Lebster Cliffs and it's gonna be so vertical. And we have a full resupply at our back, so this should be interesting. The ascent up Webster Cliffs is rather vertical. This does a lot of work. We're just going straight up a mountain. Sometimes there's stairs, sometimes there's roots, sometimes there's just really long slippery wet rocks. Well, I mean, everything's wet, it's raining. Well, it was raining, now just the trees are peeing on us. It's also about a bajillion percent humidity and I am sweating like nobody's business. And my backpack is really heavy because we resupplied right before climbing this giant mountain. <sighs> the whites are kicking my butt. Well, all of that hard climbing work was for this amazing view on top of Webster Cliffs. Actually, I think it looks cooler with the trees right there. Cheapers, it feels like we're in a movie and it's like everything is whited out and there's just what's in front of us. This is so strange. Nothing at all. Oh, this should be fun. Boulder off the mountain? Yeah, ah! <laughs> I don't like New Hampshire! It's not moving. <laughs> Man, we tried. Come on, snapshot. Just finding a good handhold, you know? Thought you watched on my beta. Well, the problem is. Nice. 
hide it. Hike the whites, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Well, we're doing this all day in the rain and it's all wet. Oh, and there's no blazes, so good luck finding the trail. <sighs> Dude, this is getting ridiculous. Snapshot. Slabby slabs. And the slabby mixed labbers. Right. You're doing awesome. This is very good. And then my other foot goes to here. Nice. And then that's beautiful. Yep. Oh, you've got it. Awesome. Well, we climbed Mount Jackson and this is our view. Yay, another 4,000 footer in the bag. That we had to rock climb. That we had to rock climb. Literally talking beta on the way up. Isn't that exciting? No one died. It got close, but no one died. So we found the Alpine bog and it looks so sketchy and very muddy. And wow, those logs are sunk. Oh my gosh. And I fell in mud that came up to my hand. I thought I was gonna die in the bog. I fell so deep. <laughs> this is crazy. Wait, how's the other side? Oh, oh deeper. Oh. Oh. I almost oh. fell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So we climbed a lot of scary cliffs today. So that was a heart, was a what, heart thumper? I don't know. Uh, that was scary, especially cause you know, it was in the rain and they were all wet. So we were basically free soloing cliffs with, you know, 40, 30 to 40 pounds on our back. And then we just went through this bog where all of the mud was over two feet deep and I fell in it. And I thought I was gonna die because my trekking pole <laughs> sunk to like three and a half feet deep in mud. But thankfully my trekking pole sunk and I didn't. And then we hopped all these other puddles on boards that were almost all the way sunk in the puddle. And uh, those were also about two feet deep. I think the bog skipped me more than all of this climbing we've been doing today. Do is a lot. So we just met a super nice family that's out day hiking and we stopped to warn them about the bog and then we got to chatting with them and I didn't catch anybody's names. But hi to you guys if you happen to find my YouTube channel and I hope you get to do a lot more hiking in the future. It is a lot of fun and even on rainy days you can have a blast. And maybe someday you guys will hike the AT, who knows? So good luck with everything. It was nice to talk to you guys. Finally made it to Mizpah Springs. We're gonna be tenting at Nam Intense, which is that way. We're gonna go check it out. I'm gonna try to get a bowl of soup first. It's been a long day. Also, still socked in, just in case you were wondering. Okay, well, we're at the Nam Intense site, um, which is right next to Mizpah Hut. Uh, the tent site is, um, how do I describe it? It's basically a freaking obstacle course in the middle of a half blown down pine forest with a bunch of puddles, rocks, roots, uh, widow makers, um, ladders, climbing. Um, oh yeah, the, the co covered, um, in other words, tarped over um, eating area uh, was in a puddle. So, you know, nobody could put their like cookware on the ground. And um, it's super windy. It's extremely exposed up here. And our everything is soaked. Literally our everything. Like we're soaked, our clothes are soaked, our gear is soaked, our tents are beyond soaked. Um, we basically don't own anything dry at this point and it's cold. So we're gonna try to avoid getting hypothermic tonight if we can. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm probably gonna, I might sleep with my filter, I might not. It's only in the 50s, but like, it's it's just everything is cold and wet. Um, MC is doing a work for stay at Mizpah Hut. Um, 
everybody was hanging, all of the through hikers were hanging out there earlier just to get the warmth and the hot drinks and everything. By the time we got there, um, they were out of soup, they were out of baked goods, and we got in at what, 4.30 snapshot? You're gonna have 4.30 and they're supposed to serve food until five for um, through hikers and they had nothing left. Um, and then we came over here to pitch our tents, um, which thank God we found the overflow tenting area. So we are actually tented on the ground and not on the stupid tent platforms, which are completely exposed to the wind. Um, and there's a guy down there in a tarp. I don't know what he's doing tonight. Like that's insane. Um, and then by the time we went to go have dinner, we were gonna just eat in the hut. Um, it was time for the people in the hut to have dinner and through hikers aren't allowed in there because um, we didn't pay $177 to stay in a bunk with a mattress. Um, so MC's doing work for stay. He's gonna like sweep up the floor tonight and then he sleeps on the floor in Miss the Hut, um, which is great for him. Um, it sucks for me and Snapshot because they only take two work first days and one of them had already been taken and the guys were like, oh, you guys should grab it. And we're like, MC wants it. So, um, yeah, we're Snapshot and I are out here holding down the fort in the middle of the forest, um, getting soaked and trying not to freeze. Um, I didn't die in a bog today, so that's a plus. Nobody fell off a cliff, which is also a plus. And we may or may not be doing Washington tomorrow. We definitely don't want to zero here now that we've seen the place. Um, so we might at least be trying to make a break for Lakes of the Clouds Hut tomorrow. Um, but thunderstorms are predicted for Mount Washington for the next couple of days. And once you start that ascent and get above tree line, you can't stop because you have to get below tree line to camp. Um, so it's super dangerous. Um, but I don't know. We're going to have to see how the weather pans out. Um, but I think at bare minimum, we're probably going to make a break for Lakes of the Clouds Hut. And all else fails, we can stay in the dungeon there. But yeah, we're not very happy with the HUD system right now because they just treat through hikers like we're trash and not in like the good hiker trash sort of way, just trash in general. And um, I mean, they're in it for the money. They don't care if we freeze or, you know, they just don't care. Like AMC doesn't care about through hikers and it's frustrating because that's not how it should be. Like, honestly, we've the last couple of days, I've just been miserable hiking the whites and that's not how it should be because it's so beautiful here and it's just frustrating. Like the weather sucks and the hut system sucks and just wasn't the world's greatest day today. And it's supposed to rain again all day tomorrow too. So, you know, it's gonna be what it is, but at least we can try to get some rest for tonight. So good night, everyone.